And good evening, good morning, good afternoon to wherever you are watching or listening to my podcast from here in the Philippines and from all over the world. And welcome to my self-titled podcast, the RJ Ledesma Podcast. In my podcast, I like to interview the country's pioneering business personalities and entrepreneurs to learn more about how they think about doing business. What are their success secrets? Can we replicate those same success secrets in our own businesses? How have they innovated, pivoted, evolved their businesses during the pandemic period? And more importantly, what do they see as emerging opportunities in the new, new normal? Is there a business personality or entrepreneur that you would like me to interview here on the podcast? Please do let me know. Just drop me a message. I would love to learn from them here as well. We are also live right now on Kumu and on YouTube tonight. As we grow the e-commerce space in the Philippines, we've got the newest player in the country. Their name is Sita. We've got tonight uh, the CEO of Sitao Philippines. Sitao is a leading global e-commerce platform that offers sellers and customers a seamless and secure online shopping experience that aims to bring high quality products from Southeast Asia to the global market, providing customers with a wide range of choices while supporting local businesses at the same time. And for me, that's really the key word. It's something that makes it a bit more purposeful that they are supporting local businesses from around the region, including here in the Philippines. And tonight, we are very, very fortunate to have the CEO of Sitao Philippines. We've got Vidyana Chen. Widi, Widi, welcome to the program. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Widi. Hi, hi. Hi. So, so nice to have you over here. It's my pleasure, actually. <laughs> can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you very, very well. I hope you can hear me well, as, uh, well too. Sure. So do I. Great. So, Widi, as we start off, I, I, I understand uh, that you are actually Indonesian in ethnicity. Is that correct? Correct. <laughs> yes. Maybe you'd like to greet some people here right now in Indonesia, in Bahasa. Yeah, apa kabar? <laughs> Hello everyone. It's nice to meet you by the online profile here. It's so nice. And we've got a lot of people here right now. I, I this I'm so surprised. There are so many people here right now already greeting us online. Uh thanks so much to all the proud Sita sellers I've got here right now. Al Chard. Let's bring up their comment wow. here right now. Um let's bring up the wow, comment wow, here wow. right now. Uh Zeke, we've got uh, Al Chard, hashtag proud Sita seller here. And we have another one over. Wow, we also have risk takers, blood seller of Sitao here. And Cedric Bautista, good morning, mga kasitao. And globally diversified investing, proud Sitao seller here. And we've got Paz Capistrano all the way watching from Hong Kong. It seems, uh, with you, you've got a lot of fans here right now uh, who are big, big, okay. and very proud sellers of Sitao. So maybe the first way that we can start off uh, tonight's podcast is maybe tell us a bit more. Uh, what Sitao is all about, and maybe we can explain it in a, in a very easy way that you know people who aren't familiar with technology can understand it. Clearly, clearly, I have like through this interview or even like through this kind of activity, the people will get know a lot about our company, and we are really pretty sure that you guys can join us. Fantastic! So tell us right now, Sitao. Can I just ask where did where did oh so many I, I can't this is one of the first times I've had over here where there are so many comments flooding the inbox here right now we've got more than 133 people watching over here very proud Sitao sellers uh, from all over the world how many countries can you find Sitao in right now I've seen people from Poland from Taiwan from from all over from Israel it's no internet here no internet. No internet here. Okay, so we're asking you right now. I like I, I like all the proud sellers here of uh, of Sita. There are actually people coming in from all while they try to fix up the internet over here. I'm gonna greet some of the people here saying hi uh, from Sita. Uh, we've got people greeting us from Sita. Proud sellers of Sita from uh, we got Gen T. Hello, excited about Sita newbie seller here. And then we also have as well all the way in the comment there uh, right now. And I have here. 
Uh, also, Ivan Mariano, watching here in Poland and a proud seller here in Sitao. Really great. Thanks so much, uh, Z, over here. I also have here watching right now, Arjun Minus Paolo, watching from France. Sitao seller here. Uh, we've got Elka Reyes. Hello. Uh, one week in Sitao. And wow, they're, they're really commenting and complimenting wow. right with the uh, Grabe si Ma'am, Madam CEO, uh, Joseph Netrado. <laughs> and if we say over here, uh, uh, with the saying, wow, great job, Madam CEO. We've got a seller, Jam Maliari, uh, since January 2023, a proud Sitao seller. Now, just in case, as we go to this conversation, um, can we post here right now, Zeke? What is the website? Uh, what is the website of Sitao? If people are so interested to find out about it, uh, what is the website for for uh, Sitao, uh, Widi? Okay, actually, that you guys can access at the Sitao.ph, the PH, and then you can go through all about our company here. Great. So Sitao PH is S E A T A O O dot P H dot P H P H. Yeah. Not PH. At the same time, you can also go to your Google Play Store and you can find uh, CTAO there as well. I'm having to pull it up right here right now. You can see it. Uh, for people who are interested to see the newest e-commerce platform out there, you can check out CTAO. Um, and you can even sign in right now to become a seller. You can do it both on their website and you can also do it uh, via their app. Now, I want to I want to ask of like Widi here right now. Uh, Widi... Yeah, it seems like Sitao has expanded so fast, but from what I understand, Sitao as an e-commerce company was formed in the midst or in the middle of the pandemic. From what I understand, October 2020 was when Sitao was put yeah. together, am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. So we are like the lively online platform that that get live during the pandemic till now. Yeah, you're, you're like one of those businesses that were formed in the pandemic. And I'm sure that you were formed in the pandemic because you were addressing what we call a pain point. You saw that there was a pain point in the pandemic that you could address, right? What? Why was it formed in the pandemic? What did you see was the, a problem yeah. that needed to be solved with CTAO? Okay, actually, the, like, um, the pain point when I'm originally like, addressing when it comes addressing the the business wait a minute yes i can hear you okay yeah you were saying the pain point in addressing the business mm -hmm. okay okay oh. while we're trying to fix up the audio over here uh, we're just going yes. to go over here. So many proud sellers of Sitao. It's incredible. As uh, as as uh, as Swedish tries to get the audio back okay. online, you've got a seller here from J Rich Online Shop at 7:06 p.m. Zeke, check it out. Uh, okay. Says you're going to yeah. Yeah. from Taiwan. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we also have over here other sellers. Uh, so many, so many. We got here F Lee J 7:06 p.m. He says over here, proud Sitao seller since day one. And we've got people from other parts of the country. We've got people from uh, Porak Pampanga, Eduardo Mapalo, watching from Porak Pampanga. And we also have over here, Brandon de Gojas Elmedo. Good evening, Philippines. Good afternoon, Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum, watching all the way from Saudi. I'm seeing that there's really so many Sitao centers from different parts of the world and many of them seem to be filipinos very uh, uh, you know online sellers who are filipinos who are in different parts of the world so let's go back now to you uh Widi. tell us a bit more what was the pain point sita was trying to solve when it was formed uh, during the pandemic okay actually that when we are embarked on our entrepreneur journey actually there's like one of the initial challenge that we encountered the to establish is it we had to find like the dependable supply chain and the logistic network actually but at the same time at that time we really quick realized that for an e-commerce business to succeed mm -hmm. it's crucial to deliver the product to the customer with speed and precision but however building an efficient supply chain and logistic system proved to be a complex and also is like 
a hard task for us, but finding the trustworthy supplier become a priority that we aim to ensure the timely delivery of high quality product. It was essential to establish the strong partnership with the reliable supplier who could that uh, find us like um, some high quality product and then they can deliver the product in uh, on time and then the product that meet the customer expectation. And for the additionally, for being close collaborative relation with the logistic partners, what is equally important to ensure the safe and prompt delivery of the product to customer. So like we are going to find a dependable supply chain and we are going to find like the good logistic partnership is hard from us at that time, at that creature pandemic that time. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. the ability to provide exceptional product and service to attract and reach and the customer hints on solving this pain point effectively. We already go through it. And then right now we just focus on the solid foundation for the growth of my and for our entrepreneurial venture like this. So we are already going through that part and then we are growing stronger. And then I hope like everybody here can join us and then we become the CETA family here. The CETA family is very big. I mean, I'm so surprised at the reaction online that I'm getting from CETA. To be honest with you, this is the first time I've been getting this number of reactions uh, online from CETA. Really? Yes, uh, this many people, wow, wow, and, cool, and they're, cool. from, they're, they're from all over the country. So um, again, if people are interested to go to Sitao, let me just flash on the screen. Right now. Can we just put on, on, on the bottom over here, Zeke, uh, the website that okay. they can use? Okay. Does anyone go there? You can go to the website of Sitao again on their website, or you can also go to any of the uh, Google Play Store or Apple Store yes. to find the Sitao app if you're interested. And yes. there are two things that you can actually do. Uh, you can actually be a seller on the app, uh, you can find a way if you want to sell or you can resell the products over there and uh, you can become your own seller over here. I just have a question, uh, Widi. Yeah. Uh, with, for CETAO, I know it's growing very, very fast. And one of the things that you like okay. to do is that you like to promote local commerce or local products, right? And you're trying to get really yes. trustworthy suppliers. How do you find those suppliers? Because maybe there's some people over here who also want us to have their products sold on CETAO. How do they bring their product, products to CETAO to be able to sell? Okay, actually, that the product from uh, which we are going to be sell is mostly from the Southeast Asia. Why we are offering that the product is from the Southeast Asia is because like the product here has the high quality that is suitable and is kindly suitable for the people in Philippines. Actually, that we are going to Philippines. And then we really love, and then we really, we are really like to go in and then join their culture here. So actually, that we already like doing the meticulous market research, and then we go through it, and then we know what kind of product that the Philippine people like, and then we just mm -hmm. go through to find the resource, like the high quality of the product, and then with the achievable price, so that meet the qualification or even like meet the expectation of our our buyer so actually that we are like a little uh, uh, maybe I can say like a user-friendly platform we really want to make meet the customer expectation here and then we really like recognize the lawyer customer best to sub, like to make the subtenly the subtenly fee grow so like uh, we really want to provide what the people need here. And then uh, at the same time, I'm really happy. And then we are really happy. Our company is really happy that Philippine people can accept us in their close arm. And then I really hope that we really can be a real family soon like this, okay? And if you guys like have any problem regarding this one, there's no internet again. Uh, Okay. Okay. If uh there's okay, if there's like uh you guys have a lot of problem regarding this and then I hope you guys can tell us and then we will get through it together like this. Yeah. But what's amazing is that um how long have you been in the Philippines uh, already? How long have you been in the Philippines? Um uh, 
Oh, while, while, while they're fixing with this computer, let me just tell you a bit more. Uh, as, as she answers my question, how long they've been in the Philippines? Let me just go again through the different countries and the different places where they're very strong in here right now. And it appears that they're very strong, especially in areas where there's a lot of Filipino uh, diaspora or even some Indian, some Rami, mga OFW na galing Pilipinas, no? Uh, I'm, I'm looking here right now, as you can see over here. Uh, you have a proud seller all the way from, I have over here, uh, from Nella Robles at 7 or 8 p.m. Proud seller here from Canada. Zeke, did you see that one? Proud seller from Canada. Uh, and we have over here at 7 or 9, Zeke, we have over here uh, Jing Jing Malutao Erodias, Sitao seller all the way in Doha, Qatar. And as we go down a bit more, we have another one over here, Cheryl Demasuhid, proud seller. Hong Kong. It looks like BD has really cornered the market and found a great e-commerce market for our seller entrepreneurs, the people who got the hustle living in different Filipinos living in different parts of the world. Uh, I also have over here from uh, 7 11 7 11 p.m. Cora Babao Babao Dinglasan, proud seller from Dubai, UAE. My goodness, we also have it here uh, at 7 11 as well. Uh, Kyo Ni. Hello, seller from Japan. So it seems that what they've really done over here is they've been able to corner uh, different parts of the world. And you also have here 7 Eleven as well from El Fed Reyes. That's E L P H E D yeah. Reyes from Italy. Another seller from Italy. And we also have over here at 7 Eleven PM, Regina Mariano. A good evening from Macau. And next, we also have at 7 12 PM, Melvin Hernandez. A seller watching all the way from South Korea. So earlier, as a video guys are sitting over here, I had a chance to actually get a briefing uh, from Sitao. It looks like they tried to make you make you the own seller entrepreneur because you can create your own online shop. It doesn't yeah. matter wherever the world that you have uh, that you are based, whether you're based here in Manila, whether you're based in, in the provincial areas, whether you're a Filipino living and working abroad, you can be an entrepreneur through CITAO. Am I right, Widi? Yes, correctly. 100% correct. Well, you've got a lot of knowledge about us. Yeah. <laughs> I made sure to read that before before we spoke. But Widi, can I just ask, CITAO began in Singapore, is it correct? It's a Singaporean yes. based company? Yes. Actually, that our headquarters is at the Singapore, and then right now we are moving to the Malaysia. So feel free to find us in Malaysia. And actually, that we are have uh, planning to go back there in the next month. But maybe we are going to give you the video tour about our company there. Fantastic, uh, Widi. I just wanted to ask, what makes you like the? Why did you think the Philippines was a good place to expand? Uh, the CTAO business from Singapore. Why, why did you choose the Philippines as one of the first places to grow the CTAO business? Okay, actually, that. Okay, this work. Okay, okay. Actually, like, Philippines is like the country, like, um, belongs to the South East Asia, right? And, and oh, in the meantime, briefly, her camera has got, gone, uh, gone, gone out. There's, there's Vidi. I can see you here right okay. now. Okay. There, okay. Vidi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> In front of you now, so I can see you. I can hear you also very well. Okay, okay. Let's okay. continue. Good, good, good. Let's continue your story, Vidi. So tell me the story. Why did, why did, why did this, why did seat outside of Singapore, but you chose the Philippines as one of the first places to expand the business? Okay. Actually, that we see that uh, the marketing Philippines has like more opportunity than the other country actually that we already choose like maybe the next countries will be the indonesia but for now maybe from the culture and maybe for the people from the social here we need like we feel comfortable for the filipino here so we are going to expand our business here and then let's see how it's work actually this like Actually, that our team has already, our team from the global resources has do a lot of their work during about the market research, which which country is better or which country is suitable for us to like placing our warehouse, placing our um, branch office, and then with the people join here, and then we see that um, maybe the employee employment of the Philippines and then among like the GDP for the Philippines is like awaiting to grow enough to grow better so 
and actually we are the company to really like to grow better with all of us that's why we chose the philippines but i'm really want to like uh leave it to the comment for everyone is it like your country is welcoming us to how to go to your country and then we will take a look on it like this i see mm -hmm. Are you surprised? Because as I'm looking here right now, and as I observe from the comments, you're actually getting a lot of Filipinos who are yeah. seller entrepreneurs, uh, who are, yes. are overseas you know, workers, who are actually selling yeah. from abroad. They're not selling from yeah. over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, was, that, was, that, was that a surprise to you when that happened? Or when you found out so many uh, Filipinos based abroad selling uh, CITAO, selling from the CITAO website? Actually, yes, but it's not enough for now. <laughs> so I need any more people to join us. And then for the like the people from international, we also need them to join us also. So it will be like the, even like we only stay at Filipino right now, but we really hope that our sellers that can join us, that can work together is from the international, like from the an, another country so like even like we best and here but we can like the others to join us like this so maybe we are waiting for the other people from the country to join us i see so let's talk now more about CTAO and how to how easy it is uh to set up your online store can you tell us a bit more about how, how easy it is to set up a CTAO store okay uh, actually that uh the first time we are starting this this miss this business is not easy for us because we got a lot of like voice like they're not clearly know about us and then maybe they're not acceptable about us so um basically we starting is like we recognize the emerging trend and capitalize an innovative business model. And the dropshipping model that Shita has been used right now actually is already has fearfully shown in the e-commerce industry. So we are allowing numerous entrepreneurs to establish thriving business without the complexity for the inventory management and or even for the shipping logistics. Actually, Shita has been boosted we are growing and then we boost the professional team from the global resources. Mm -hmm. And then we do the strategy co collaboration with the trustworthy supplier and the utilization of like, uh, we use the utilization of user-friendly platform. So right now, CTAO until now, is already become more efficient and the scale labor business framework like this. So maybe it's hard for us to join or even to, go on with this industry with this e-commerce industry for the first time because we are the uh, combination for the online platform or even for the online e uh, online commerce and then with the video e-commerce but right now like through the advertisement through the live broadcast through like the advertising through the influencer the people will get a lot of knowledge about it and then the people get more more like closely with us and then we really want to hear the voice and because we are going to grow big and then i need the voice to tell us how we will become like more good more growth and i believe that i also want that like the future entrepreneur here can join us and then we can grow together like you can do your own business here without like any kind of like advertising you need and then you just join us we will lead you in that way so no worry about that i see so, so what what i'm what i'm hearing from you is that you're making it more frictionless meaning let you you're, you're yeah. lessening the barriers for people to enter entrepreneurship via selling uh, yeah. on CTAO. so the first step i guess is that uh, they can first of all register on CTAO. Um, yes. And when they register on CTAO, they can go online, they can register to be a seller. Is that right? They click on be a seller. Yes. Now, yes, 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 the yes. first thing that what CTAO does, what, what it's, what, what's a bit different for, uh, at being a seller on CTAO? First of all, is there a subscription fee to become a seller on CTAO? Uh, actually, there's only no. There's no. As the long as like, fee. yeah, as long as like you are ready. I mean, you are ready to join us then we'll feel free we'll feel free to welcome you 
to become our family. Okay. There's not any like addition that we are going to be received as long as you are ready and then you can join us. Okay. Okay. For the other yeah. one is this one. Another question people okay. usually have when they start, when they usually start up a business over here with you, one of their concerns is that it's the startup capital, the money that they have to put in to start the business, right? And that's one, mm -mm. that's one of the biggest hurdles or obstacles for them to start a business online that they've got to spend some money uh, to invest in their inventory, yeah. right? To start the business. Do they have to put up a okay. lot of startup um, capital to invest in inventory for, for CTAO? Actually, I don't know. Actually, that we depend of like how much capability that you have. Like even like you have only one dollar or two dollar or even like less than that. Even like what we will give you a plan regarding the capability that you have. Actually, that only fund you need is to fund like um, the order. Actually, that when there's a buyer putting the order there, the only fund that you need is for that order. Maybe the uh, the buyer is placing one order, and then you are going to pay for that order only for that. And then if there's any order coming again, and then you need to placing the fund again. Actually, that is based on the uh like the product you are going to sell. Actually, that our goal here is less on the expense for the seller like this, and then for the advertising part, for the delivery part, for the like. Uh, connection with the warehouse will do all of them for them because uh, actually that we are here to help more people to become a good entrepreneur because like the people they are doing their regular job right but uh, the people like um, they want to get much and then the people want to like start their own so we are here to help you we try to make business busy easy for everyone that's it uh -uh. got that uh, as we comment over here i want to go back into the comment box there's a nice comment over here that says um you have over here a ram emolo trab at 7 28 p.m shout out seller from russia z check that out you've got a seller all the way from russia and, and we also have over here um joel jacinto pandakan uh watching from spain very interesting very interesting the type of people uh, that you brought together over here. So the first step in CETA, you were saying that the investment that has to be made, it's it's been no capital because um, from what I understand, um, I'm gonna go into this model a bit more so you can explain it a bit more, is that um, the, the seller actually funds the purchase, is that correct? The, the seller funds the purchase, and then uh, on, the, on the other side, uh, the buyer buys at the wholesale price. So the the the, the the business model for the online seller is that he makes the margin between the wholesale price and the retail price. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So, and that's the basic business model, very straight and uh, straightforward and very simple. Is that right? Yeah. And it's really easy for the seller because we do all the advertising, we do all the delivery ourselves. All they need is like put the product inside their platform and then when there's the purchase the good from the buyer and then they're going to pay for the good and then we will do all the delivery or the advertising regarding that. So it's like okay. really easy business for all of us in like in this busy world. Okay, so basically what, what happens over here is that um, you choose products to put in your own online store from the Sitao yeah. warehouse, is that correct? And then when you put yeah. those products into your on your own online store, um, and somebody mm -hmm. chooses it, um, you, you pay for it first if somebody wants to buy it. But then when the when yeah. the but but the the buyer will have to pay the additional wholesale uh, the whole the, the retail price of the product. And so you make the the margins from in between that. That's what you do. It all you have to just do is make sure that you have your own online store and you also yeah. have money to pay for the product that people are purchasing. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, clearly, clearly. Okay. Now, and from, if I understand correctly, is it right to say that they don't pay for any marketing costs? Like, for example, for me, if I, you know, I, I work on other e-commerce platforms as well, um, you have to spend a bit additionally to make sure that you boost awareness or you create awareness 
but you're saying that in Sitao, you take care of that yourselves. That cost is shouldered by Sitao and not by uh, not by the online seller. Yeah, of course. And then it fixed one hundred percent. We pay for our own advertisement, so you guys don't don't do not worry about it and don't no need to do any marketing things or, or uh, regarding this one. Okay, so how so, do you, how you, do you mark, mm -hmm. yeah. how do you market it online? I'm just curious. How do you how do you market online, um, Sitao? Okay, actually, that uh, we have the uh, influencer here, like um, the inflation from the Philippines, and then we use them um to like to go in live and then show what is Sitao is and then uh actually that the first thing that inflation night need to do is like um they're doing they're teach people how to become the seller okay okay I see. The first, okay okay actually that we do a lot of like strategy combination of like KOL, KLC, SEM, and then we do like the live broadcast and other effective marketing methods. It's like uh, this comprehensive approach ensure that the seller on our platform can rest assured about their sales performance. So for the marketing, we, we do have our marketing team and then they will do their strategy on here to rising um, the sales of the sellers all the sellers is going to do is like you just sit down in your home and then you just put the product in your shop and then just wet you don't need to do anything anymore when there's a pressing order you just pay and then we will take responsibility for the rest like this i got that now the other thing interesting mm -hmm. thing about sitao uh versus let's say um I guess other companies, one of the advantages is actually what you call drop shipping. And drop shipping just means okay. that it gives the opportunity for people who are, you know, you don't have to be based in a warehouse or near your warehouse to sell your product. You can be based anywhere. And that's actually, uh, I guess, the reason why I'm seeing so many uh, overseas Filipino workers participating over here. Um, do you mind mm -hmm. explaining a bit more for the first timers over, first -timers over here what exactly um, drop shipping means? Okay, drop shipping means is like uh, you don't need to actually that drop shipping means like you already uh, hello can, can you hear me? Hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, the drop shipping means like uh, you just drop your product here, and then the rest we will take responsible from it, like from the choose, like for the curated and intense for the product selection from the um, connection with the warehouse, from the delivery, from the choose, from the logistics, we are one line. So this one line is responsibility and is belong our responsibility. So you all you have to do is placing the order here and then this drop shipping, like from the warehouse or even from the supply chain to our warehouse, from the warehouse to the expedition or delivery or logistic and from the logistic to uh, the buyer is our responsibility. So this drop shipping is like approach, and then it's the model that Sita has been using right now because all the shipping here is owned by us. We do all the shipping here. So this is all like from the supply, uh, supply chain to the warehouse, to the logistics, till the buyer, we all our own shipping like this. Okay, so because uh, like, in the e-commerce, like we realize that if you don't uh, deliver the good in the speed or even in the precision, you will not like win. You will not be success. So we really aim to know this kind of like time delivery is really important for us. That's why the drop shipping, like in the line of the shipping, we manage it ourselves like this. So maybe it's like the most advantage that we got. I got that. So really, mm -hmm. uh, the biggest advantage is that uh, with drop shipping, there is no need for you to have inventory costs because basically yeah. just put, choose the products which you want from Sitao to put into your own, uh, into your own selling page, right? And yes, after that yes, one, yes. Uh, if, they, if they order from there, you have no warehousing costs or you don't have any excess mm -hmm. inventory because you're not carrying anything. You just pass on the order to Sitao. 
and after you pass the order to CETA from your selling page, uh, what you have to do as your responsibility as a seller is to pay the amount to see tau yeah. for the yeah. wholesale price. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. And then, how soon uh, does the customer receive the product uh, after it's been ordered on see tau? Actually, it's based on the like which country that we are going to do the delivery. But mostly, right now, the logistics that has been collaborate with us is the fast logistic in that country we can make sure of that so we deliver the good in the quick way and then it will be like uh, around 90 percent to 100 percent it will be quickly than another expedition because we do our own shipping like this so i cannot say that uh, what is the time because it's based on the country but i can make sure it's like the day that can be distributed is the faster way in that country so you don't need to worry about this because it's like the our m priority got that okay i have another, another interesting uh, question as an entrepreneur i'm going to wear my hat as a seller entrepreneur and ask um the margins that you make come from the difference between the price of the wholesale product and the retail product who determines the price mm -hmm. is it based on can I, as a seller, determine what the retail price is, or does CETAO tell me this should be the retail yes. price of the product? Actually, that we give you, we do give you the price, but you can top up how many percent, like there's around X percent that you can top up. So you can top up maybe the price is uh, 100, you can top up it in, into the 7 percent below, um, below X percent. So you can top up until 7 percent, you can top up. Uh, one six uh, one zero seven. So maybe the price is one hundred, and then you can top up like seven percent. So you can sell it one zero seven for one product. I got that. So, but uh, so there this are... the margin that the sellers can top up regarding for us. Mm -hmm. I got that. Got that. Um, mm -hmm. Can I also mm -hmm. ask uh, as well when people are selling, for example? Um, of course, it's low startup capital. You don't have to pay for your site. But for example, they get okay. an order. They you want to fulfill an order. Um, I can pay for maybe one order in okay. my budget. My capital, I can okay. pay for one. But what if a sudden somebody orders okay. 100 pieces of that product and you don't have the capital to, to pay uh, for the 100 products being ordered? Actually, that uh, we already, because we have the technical department, right? And then actually that at the before I already said that we are the user friendly platform. So actually that we can try as long as you are telling us, we will try to manage like your order. Maybe we do a lot of advertising about your stop. Uh, we do a lot of advertising about this kind of product. And then this kind of product like uh, have been like more interesting from other, we have no control about it. But we maybe if you are like you have the maybe uh, for the financial you a little bit short maybe we can move the shop in the below so the people will find the one who has like more capital about it. But if you are good enough in your capital, then you can tell us and then we will move you up. So we are really user friendly like this. Got that. Now, I think because as, as, as I'm seeing right now the comment box, and it's very nice because it's an engaging conversation. People have many questions about mm. how do you see now, which is good, which is good that they keep on asking questions because they're just doing their, yeah, like yeah. Uh, what Vincent Torre Bongonan is saying, 740. I'm just doing due diligence, which is good. For any site out there, it's important to do uh, your due diligence. Uh, can I just get an appreciation? Do you support, uh, let's say this, it's a new person coming into the site. How do you support them? Because there's so mm. much to understand and appreciate. Uh, is there back office yeah. support or still support for them? And do they have to pay for that support? Uh, no need. <laughs> Actually, it's based on like, it's already included in our service. So you don't need to pay about this. All you have to do that we need to maintain the communication. You need to maintain because we have the account specialist here. We, we have the employee that will take responsibility for your for the seller so you do tell the account specialist or you do tell our employee about the problem that you are facing and then we will try to find a way 
for you. Wow. So you've got because, the, are they, like I say, we want to educate like more Filipino. Mm. It, it, is the support service 24 mm. hours, seven days a week? So it's never, it never goes offline? Actually, that uh, we were here uh, until Saturday, but for our account specialists, there's they're like the professional position. So they will pay attention for your reaction. They will update us in the group and then we will go through it. Even like in the weekend, the executive or even the management team is working. Don't worry about that. So basically, we are working six days from nine to six. But maybe after that, or even in the weekend, maybe we can we still can control it because, uh, as I said before, our team is professional and is from the global resources. And then our executives also. We all maintain to like provide a good service for you guys. And then we really want to meet your expectation here. So the customer is like our everything, and then we priority them. At here, can I? You know, I'm just so surprised. I mean, I keep on looking at the at the count here for the people watching live, and I'm also looking at the people commenting okay. on the page. And there seem to be so many okay. of them um, coming in. Just how many sellers do you have from Sitao from the Philippines right now? I'm just curious. Okay, uh, let me check. Like right now, it's around. Because uh, we have that in our website also, actually, that you can check. But I'm going to tell you the number right now. There's around 300,000 users right now. There's 300,000 users approximately in our in in the Filipino. Is that just here in the Philippines or that's, or that's also Filipinos based abroad? Actually, that is based on the Philippines. It's based on the Philippines, not include that the one who is stay abroad. Oh wow! Very, very interesting. Very, uh, very encouraging comment. But and, you know, uh, because for myself, I, I'm I'm an, an entrepreneur mentor. So it's always the the, uh, the, the purpose of the show is really to get to create more business opportunities for people to listen to. And it's sometimes, you know, as I listen to you, yeah. I'm surprised at how big it's grown yes. so quickly. But actually, but actually, the point here, not all of them is active just for the user. Mm -hmm. So our goal here is like we want them to become more active because there's too many sellers and then uh we are going to train like more account specialists to handle them because like uh, the account specialist right now is not enough to handle them because we got a lot of sellers here so uh, we actually that we open a big opportunity of war we op we still recruit a lot of account specialists to join us so they can help us and then we can work together to like I mean to handle the sellers here. So the seller like from the 3,000, uh, 300,000, they can be more active is, is our goal. And then at the same time, we are going to like uh, get like the, I mean, I hope that the number from 300,000 will grow up and then all is active. Fantastic. I, I just want to ask you right now, um, there are some very successful sellers I have seen uh, on the comment box, and mm -hmm. there are many successful sellers. Can you just share with us okay. what have been the most? What have been the most? Yeah, exactly. Henley May Sampatan is has my question in mind. Number seven forty five. What are the best selling products? What have you seen right now on Citao? Are the best selling products on on Citao that that people put in the platform and move very quickly for people? Right now, I thought that um, because we can. See see from the platform that we have been actively running right it's like the sport apparel like for the fit shirts that people is using for the sport like the gloves they are purchased a lot of it the, yeah the gloves the gloves and then gloves, like we, yeah the gloves and then for the yoga for the yoga, yoga and then on um, the custom from the yoga all of it and like uh, the yoga related things like from the mats from the cloth from the pants all of that this this kind of thing that is like most popular right now but we are still finding something like more beautiful um more like meet the quality of the or even like more meet the expectation of the customer because like 
um, the life right now is going up, right? And then the people request it will become more high. So that's why not only like the quality of life of the people is become high, but also our work and then the product from our platform is getting high also. That's why we keep growing for it. Yeah. Uh, can I just ask because you did say that um, that that um, you're supporting also a uh, local products, mm -hmm. right? You're supporting yeah. uh, products from the country. What are the local products mm -hmm. you're supporting from the Philippines? Uh, the local product that we are going we right now we are supporting from the local from the local product is like uh, for now is uh wait wait a minute hello yeah I can hear you no no problem no okay problem. okay I can hear you okay okay. Can you. okay what's the most popular product that you get uh, from the Philippines and as we try okay. to get back for all you over here. I just want to acknowledge again everybody uh, listening to us here right now. Again, from all over the world that uh, we have over here, I'm just scrolling back okay. over here. We've got people from Taiwan again. From uh, wow, look at all these countries coming in. It's just 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 a lot over here. Uh, I'm trying to just scroll back. We've got from Singapore, la. Uh, we also have sellers from um, <coughs> I saw Qatar, Dubai, and, <coughs> and many others. So please. Uh, can you please continue? Um, what have you? What are you seeing here right now as as the pro products in the Philippines that you're selling online that are very popular? What Filipino products are you supporting? You have to say it again. Uh, I can't hear your audio uh, over here, Vidi. As Vidi tries to get back her audio over here, just reminding all those who are listening to our page right now that what you want to do is please. Uh, go on ctau.ph if you're interested to become a seller for ctau uh, to learn more about how to become a seller on this platform. Um, there have been many testimonials. If you take a look at our our comment box here right now, there's been a comment. There's been a lot of um, there's been feedback uh, as to how uh, how successful they've done. And I want to read uh, what they say over here. Um, I want to read some of the comments over here. We've got a proud seller from. 748 proud seller all the way from moscow russia very interesting um and we we have over here as well for some people there the vera carion alma saying wrote to one million for only one month uh of selling wow. a so these things uh quite incredible uh for me wow, to, wow, to wow. appreciate cool cool yeah. cool cool, and cool. what are the local products here that you're selling here on on the uh, on the platform what are the philippine products okay. that are very popular okay actually actually the philippine is like a little bit hot here but the people so mostly the popular thing are even like the product we are going to use for the from the local filipino is like the summer course and then like the workout equipment because there's a lot of filipino doing the like workout every day even like when they get off um from the world they are running so like um the pants for running and then the shirt for running is like we are using from the local filipino and also that the clothes for fitness because the old men do the fitness right not only men but the women also do the fitness and for the motor gloves when you are driving the motor there's a growth and then it's really work and then we are using the product from the local filipino like this wow so very interesting story but I, I'm, I'm very happy that you're encouraging the growth of local products and over here best stroke swim lesson number yeah. 750 shout out i'm one of your sellers from uh, bahrain over here um now well wow. i have another question what what have you seen mm -hmm. so we know what are the successful products here uh, mm -hmm. and uh, on the platform and some of them are active sellers uh, that, that you've seen what are, have you seen what can you share right now for those who want to become CTAO sellers what are the best practices or the success secrets that you've seen from the most successful CTAO sellers what can you share with everybody who's listening here right now maybe they are about to become CTAO sellers they are mm -hmm. current CTAO sellers but they aren't selling so well what have you seen are the best practices that you can share so that everybody can be as successful as the most successful CTAO seller? Okay, actually that if you guys have the fully understand about the e-commerce, 
to do your online on, online shop and then you do a lot of homework regarding based on our website and then uh, sharing more with us you will get a lot of knowledge and then you will you will not find it's hard to join us actually that uh, we give you a lot of opportunity to communicate with us i think that the first learner the first learning things that you guys can use is communicate directly with us so that we can introduce ourselves more to you and then you can get more about us and then if like you guys uh, really want to uh, study it by yourself then you can go through the our website like the sitao.ps that i have been um, say before and then you you will know a lot about it because like uh, all about us and then all about that like the business model all in, is inside the website like this and for Not sure that. as mm -mm. Very, very interesting over here, uh, what you're sharing. And, and right now I want to share, if people are interested, uh, there's actually a YouTube site, which they have right now. Um, you can click on yeah. the YouTube site. I'm showing here on the screen right now on how to become a yes. CTAO seller. Uh, we're showing that here. Yes. Uh, Ivan, can you also show right here, uh, the if ever you can show the link so people can take a look at the link on how to register as a seller on CTAO. And secondly, uh, aside from also going on their YouTube site, you can also uh, visit the second site I'm giving over here for CTAO. Uh, if you want to register as a seller, can we show that, uh, Ivan, the next site over here? If you want to register as a seller, you just have to register on the second link which I sent over to you. Uh, in the meantime, I want to just say to everybody, wow, this is just wonderful, wonderful uh, insights. So here, you can go click on the second link. Uh, on this one, you can see the CTAO journey uh, online on how, how easy it is to become, to register, to become a seller. You know what, uh, with the, it's been fantastic. I didn't realize how fast the time has passed here right now. And yeah, I'm so yeah, thankful yeah. to everybody on the comment section uh, who are showing mm. us, um, uh, uh, you know, their support. Yeah, uh, for, uh, okay. They're doing very, very good. What is your advice now? What is your advice mm. for all the aspiring entrepreneurs who are listening here right now who are looking for new income streams? Because many of them, of course, you know, they've got many priorities. They're saying, why should I do CTAO? Um, I can do other things. I can do network marketing, direct marketing, or something else. Why should they give their time to CTAO for them as their new uh, side hustle or their new entrepreneurship business? Why CTAO? Okay. Uh, actually, why CTAO? <laughs> actually, that uh, why CTAO? Because like when you know a lot about us, you will find like, we are far away and then we got more of a touch among the other competitors. Why we are like um, can still alive till now because we got a lot of advantage um, like out of the other people. Like uh, we are quick in delivery. Why? Because we are doing the on shipping, we are doing the drop shipping ourselves. Wait a minute. Got that. Hold on for a while. Yeah. And what I want to say is that um, because you're saying that you do the drop shipping yourself, you really have them out to start off as un entrepreneurs. Um, in, the, in the future, if you've got more questions on how to go join, uh, don't worry, you can go to the platform. Uh, like they said, the, the, I, I've been getting replies over here that are very responsive uh, to new people over here. And again, with the uh, thank you so much for your time, Widi, Widi Chen, the CEO of CTAO Philippines. Uh, hopefully, we get more entrepreneurs who listen to this uh, to, to our podcast and become more interested in becoming a CTAO online seller. So again, okay. yes, actually yes, that I Widi, have, a, yeah. yeah, actually that I have the addition work here. Actually, regardless of the industry, persistent is the true shortcut to success. But when you establish a solid score and consistently consistently put in relentless effort, I firmly believe that the success is well within your reach. So I hope that we all together here to succeed together. And then if you guys find that you didn't like, got too much understanding regarding us, feel free to contact us and then we are going to grow together. It's good for you guys. Fantastic. And just to let okay. you know, if there are people here right now who are listening to us, and are interested, uh, the CTAO team is actually listening here right now. Uh, the local yeah, CTAO yeah. team, if you 
questions, please feel free to message them on their Facebook page. I, I'm glad yeah. that there's a lot of healthy questions over here. You have to understand, I think, Wendy, from my perspective, you know, uh, when there's a business that is as interesting as this one, and sometimes mm -hmm. hard to believe that it's, it's making income, people need to check out themselves. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They yeah, 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 yeah. Again, uh, the job is they look at the sales, go to the sales, go to their blog, uh, mm -hmm. go to their mm -hmm. site, check out their Facebook page. The sales support is over there. Check out the website. Ask the questions that you want yeah. to ask because obviously in any business that you want to enter into, you want to verify the business. So, Wendy, thank you for thank you for the opportunity of sharing this uh, business opportunity with other Filipinos and uh, good luck to your growth here in the Philippines. Again, yeah. this has been the Art of uh -huh. Desma yeah. podcast. We will see you guys in the next